To draw the femoral nerve, label across the top of the page from left to right as pelvis, thigh, and lower leg. Show the femoral nerve pass through the pelvis and into the thigh. Indicate the L2 to L4 nerve roots form it. Where the pelvis and thigh meet at the inguinal ligament, indicate the femoral nerve innervates the iliopsoas muscle. Flex your thigh at the hip to demonstrate its action. Next, continue the femoral nerve through the thigh. Indicate it innervates the quadriceps muscle. Extend your lower leg against resistance to demonstrate the action of the quadriceps muscle. Quadriceps weakness presents with difficulty walking downstairs, whereas iliac psoas weakness presents with difficulty climbing upstairs or in rising from a low chair. The femoral nerve also innervates the sartorius muscle in the thigh. The sartorius performs a combination of thigh abduction, flexion, and external rotation. Cross one leg over the other and run your heel up and down your opposite shin to demonstrate the action of the sartorius. Now show the proximal sensory segments of the femoral nerve. It provides the anterior cutaneous nerve branches which cover the anterior thigh. They are subdivided into the medial and intermediate nerves of the thigh. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, which is commonly disrupted, is derived directly from the L2 and L3 nerve roots and not the femoral nerve. Now show the femoral nerve continue into the lower leg as the saphenous branch. It covers the inside of the lower limb down to the instep of the foot. In short, the femoral nerve provides thigh flexion and lower leg extension and sensory coverage to the anterior thigh and medial lower leg. This concludes our drawing of the femoral nerve.